hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we will learn how we can use analog threshold block for our plc programming so let's go to the file section new and open a new program that is ladder diagram from here we will choose analog threshold trigger to bring in our canvas so if you carefully it has only one input that is ax that means it's not like a comparator that will take in two input so it will basically bring in the values from one analog sensor so let's go into the constant and bring analog contact for our input for this threshold compare threshold trigger so you can choose a range of analog input we are choosing ai1 so connect this to ax well that's it for the connection suppose you want to trigger a device based on the values we have set here so for that reason we'll have to bring in another make contact that make contact have the properties of analog threshold trigger and we will bring in another relay coil that will be our output so let's give it a name that is it's our analog sensor on the comment section we can say that analog sensor one this is our output we can rename it as we want suppose we are we are lighting a led light or indicator light so for that reason we are giving it a name of light now let's set the values of this threshold trigger so double click on this it will bring in a window like this from here we can choose whether it's a voltage based sensor or current based sensor so suppose it's a voltage based sensor now you can choose the values or the range here of measurement suppose it's a sensor that's measuring between 0 and 1000 and you want to give it a threshold of uh, 400 to 500 for example so whenever the sensor value reaches in between this limit of 400 to 500 it will turn on the output and whenever it goes beyond or uh, ahead of this value limits it will turn off the output load so that's it for the configuration let's let's say you want to see the values also in the display so for the reason we will bring in the masses text so connect it to the power rail we'll also need to con close the contacts of this power masses block so bring in a uh, make contact and go down to masses text bring in a relay coil with a memory flag choose any one you as you wish i am choosing m3 for this now let's configure the masses suppose you want to see different parameters of this uh, threshold trigger block so if you click this it will bring in the parameters available for display like when it will turn on when it will turn off the current value so let's say i want to see the on threshold value on at so at which value it will turn on from here we are inserting that off at kohun when it will turn off so let's insert that suppose you also want to see the ax value so let's do that insert this now these values are associated with our analog threshold trigger if we want to observe the output also output status of the load we can also do that so to do so we want to bring in this block on or off once we click on this it will turn a window showing these options so let's uh, select digital outputs q1 okay so that's it for the 
message configuration now let's run the simulation so you can see our output q1 is supposed to turn on at 400 turn off beyond 500 and current ax value is zero so if we now change the value from here it is now zero let's go up to 400 once we respond 400 and beyond the led light turns on now go up 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 once we reach 500 and 501 it turns of 500 and 500 above it will turn off the load again if we fall down to the limits we have set it will turn on you can also see the values on the screen also so this is how we can use a threshold trigger of analog blocks any sensor that can act as an analog input could be used here and based on the output of the analog sensor we need to configure this trigger threshold the programming has been completed now if we want to upload that program to our plc so for that reason we will have to go to transfer from tools go to pc to logo once this window comes up you will need to put your uh, network addresses for the plc device you can also do the testing once the test give you a green tick you can go ahead and press this ok button it will start the uploading procedure if you want to stop it yes now the program has been uploaded do you want to run it again yes so that's it for uploading the plc has now this analog sensor based program in your hardware so see you in the hardware demonstration so hello guys welcome to the hardware demonstration part of analog threshold so in this session we'll see how we can use analog sensor for giving the input at our plc and using that input we want to drive a output load so here this is our analog sensor that is a potentiometer so this potentiometer has been given uh, the power and the ground and the middle point that is the variable output we have taken it into our i7 so here it is written that i1 to i2 this is ai3 ai4 i7 and i8 is for ai1 and ai2 that means i7 is for ai1 and i8 is for ai2 so let's vary so let's vary the potentiometer and see what values we get from our sensor so you can see the when i am changing the variable potentiometer its value is 468 in between 400 and 500 so that's why output has turned on now the output has exceeded the limit of 400 to 500 so that's why the output is off again let's change it and bring 41 that is out of the range that's why the output is off so this is how we can use an analog sensor for analog processing in our PLC programming. Thank you.